Japan. Japan. <laughs>
But as I become more acclimated to drinking this every morning, I think I'll start to try and add different um, variations of things and really do my best to really kick it up a notch. And I also wanna document how my ankle is looking. Um, this summer, both of my feet were swelling. It usually happens in the heat. Y'all know I'm not for that. Ryan Little. <laughs> hey guys it's tuesday september 14th and i had a little bit of a late start today <laughs> but we are up and we are moving um yesterday was an editing day i did show you guys a little bit of what I was editing, but I'm getting ready for work. It is around quarter to eight. So we'll get this day started. And my items that I was supposed to shoot yesterday were delivered late. They were delivered after the sun was already going down. So, you know, we don't take photos in the dark. <laughs> so I'm hoping to get those photos taken today. Birkin. Stop. Hoping to get those photos taken today so that we can get them posted this week. And yeah, so let's start the day. Ryan Little. <laughs> some tea this morning because I woke up with a little cough and after I have my tea and I feel like my throat is settled I'm gonna go and drink my green juice work today is crazy <laughs> work today is crazy uh, it truly is very difficult to work on the influencer stuff um, during the week because there really is just like no time no time um, but I'm gonna figure it out figure out how to get it done getting up earlier is not um, as difficult as I thought it would be so that might be how I have to do it because trying to do it later on throughout the day it's just not it it's not happening too many distractions so I think that I'll have to start getting up earlier to take my photos and do all the things that I feel like I'm you know work on the things that I want to work on um it started raining last night like it was just a lot <laughs> so i think probably trying to do it early before work might be the wave that will probably mean that these are going to be early days uh, but whatever i can do to make that transition it'll be worth it Okay, guys, I'm going to check back in with you guys, um, probably more towards my break. Um, and we'll unbox some things together because I do have some deliveries today. So that should be really fun for you guys to see. And yeah, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I'm going to unbox this stuff from Eloquy Unlimited. I've been using this subscription service for probably... I don't have to double check, but I'm using it for a decent amount of time. Definitely more than six months. <clears throat> so.
so it is a plus size rental service and I've really been enjoying it. So I've been wanting this dress for a little bit. So cute. Hold up y'all, I'm about to put this on. This is cute. Y'all, this is... Y'all, this is cute. Yeah, you guys, this is adorable. It feels like a t-shirt. Like it's very lightweight. It's to the knee. Oh, this is so cute. I feel like I need to own this. And it's so stretchy. Okay, so this is this leather style, tan leather style dress. Y'all, this is so luxe to me. I've never owned anything like this. Eloquy is just always giving me fashion. I definitely want to keep that first dress. I want this dress. One thing I'll say, like, obviously this is faux leather, but I've gotten faux leather from other companies and it smells like straight up fish. This doesn't smell like that. So they're obviously using some higher grade of faux leather. So cut in. <sighs> Guys, this is like, I'm sorry if it's dark. I'm gonna figure that out and try to brighten this up so you can see it, but this is bomb. This is bomb. <laughs> Let's move into the next piece. Okay. This is the vibe. It's this like sweatsuit, jumpsuit. I don't know how I feel about it <laughs> only because I would rather it be two separate pieces because going to the bathroom in this and the zipper kind of stops here I don't know I, this is definitely a wear and return piece which is what I love so much about Eloquy Unlimited <laughs> Now, I know for sure that this jacket is not going back because as of today, September 14th, 2021, this is the closest that I will ever get to a Chanel jacket. So, <laughs> I love this. I thought it, um, it was sold out on the site, but somehow I got it through Eloquia Unlimited. Baby, she's cute. I want to try her on. But obviously I need to put on some pants. So I'll be back. So this is as close as it's probably gonna get. Just have on these loungewear shorts. But this jacket, I love that it's a bolero. A longer one would probably look a little weird on me. There's no closure. I love the length on the arms. I might add shoulder pads. There's slight padding. I could beef it up more, but like this, with some leather leggings. My mop. Yeah. This is dope. Not me wanting to keep three out of four. I have some more stuff to unbox, so let's get into that. So the next item I have to unbox is from one of my social sisters, Natalie. From Natalie in the City. And I've been excited to see the shirt. She posted the shirt on her page um, and I loved it. So it is a photo of her on the cover of Playboy. How cute is this? I think I wanna crop it probably just below the photo. It's a little long for me. Um, yeah. But how cute is this? I want to move in. It's her on the cover of Playboy. This is just adorable to me. Um, we've never seen that before. A plus size girl on the cover of Playboy. Until now. <laughs> 
So I love that. Natalie, love you for this. So last two packages are items from Dia and Co. For some reason, these items were shipped out individually. Um, so this item is the Sugar Lips Amanda Sleeveless Belted Maxi Dress. I love this colorway. It screams fall to me. So yeah, it's just like a simple green dress. You know what? I'm going to try it on. So here we are. It's really very pretty. It's got a split here. Kind of starts right here. Very sexy, flowy. It's a midi length. And I just think it's really, really pretty. Yeah. So look out for fall styling with this piece. The Louisa side knot dress and then a printed square neck bodysuit. It's like this abstract print. It's got snaps here. Feels like a t-shirt material. Thick straps, which is good for covering a bra, which I love because I hate when the bra shows. But I don't always feel like a strapless bra is required. And as I mentioned before, you guys can check my Instagram to see how I style these. And then the last dress is this floral wrap dress, which I'm going to try on so you can see it. Too. Okay. So this is like the wrap faux knot. I'm sorry that I'm in here sweating. So you can see here, make sure it's not twisted. Seams are straight. Okay. Very pretty. Easy throw on layerable dress. It's a very lightweight, very comfortable. It is just below the knee, midi for sure. If you guys want to shop any of the items from Dia and Co or want to learn more about it, I'll leave information down in my description bar so that you can do that. So let's keep going with the day. I'm probably going to get back into some editing and I'm trying to figure out if I want to upload my Tampa vlog with my girlfriends tomorrow or Thursday. By the time this goes up, <laughs> you guys will probably have already seen it because I don't want it to go into the weekend without me uploading that because I have a black luxury designer unboxing definitely going up over the weekend. So yeah, let us go through the rest of our day. If I don't see you guys later on today, I will see you tomorrow morning. All right. Hey, Luz. Um, it is Wednesday the 15th. Today is my little brother's birthday. He's not so little. <sighs> You're inching closer and closer to 30, Tay. Closer and closer. Happy birthday, little bro. So today um, is going to be a regular work day. Um, I do want to do another unboxing because late last night, my Halloween costumes arrived from Ashley Stewart. So I think I have maybe four to six. Um, it should be six costume options. I'm going to be filming a really cute um, try on haul. I've never done that before. And I think that Ashley Stewart has knocked the plus size Halloween costumes out the park this year. So I'm excited to try those on because we know a lot of plus size brands that are putting out Halloween costumes can be a little drab, a little dowdy, a little matronly. But I can promise you, I got y'all. And these styles are far from matronly, but also they're not giving you, am I really gonna step out the house in this? <laughs> They are not overtly sexy, which I think is always a struggle for us plus size women. We fall into this weird bracket of wallflower or fetish. And I'm not about that. I don't want to be either or. I kind of want to be in the middle. Like, why not? <laughs> so I love that Ashley Stewart is giving us these options. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to get that up late next week. So that you guys can have that and shop before October hits. I can't believe September is practically over. We're halfway through September. Yep, 30 days of September. Um, today's the 15th, so we're at the halfway point. So yeah, I am gonna get back to my work day. It is 10.50. Just took a second to step away. 
um, and connect with you guys about what we have going on today. I'm excited for this week. I have some things planned for you guys. Um, I want to pick up some mums for our, prom our front porch, which I did last year, but I want to do again um, because I just feel like it just brought all the fall vibes. And I'm also going to try to switch out a lot of the spring decor spring summer decor and start bringing in fall fall wreaths different things like that maybe we'll take a, a, a trip to hobby lobby michael's all that stuff and see what's in there um i know that a lot of those places started putting out fall decor and stuff um like late july early august but that was too early y'all <laughs> so i'm gonna head in there um this week either friday or saturday and we're gonna look at some stuff maybe pick up some stuff for the house i love that um maybe pick up some stuff for the dresser and i just really want to bring some fall elements into this space perfect example this up here i love these little plants from ikea but i want to put something else up here that is a bit more autumn inspired i have some um led candles here and so i just want to really decorate this space and the rest of the house the rest of the house is hard um my husband is very particular and very much um stuck to his entertainment center i want to put his tv on the wall and really optimize that space um we've been here a little over a year no we've been here almost two years ain't a little over We've been here almost two years and I'm doing my best to talk him out of this big entertainment center. Um, it's not 1990 anymore and we should put the TV on the wall. I'm also probably gonna go to Ikea. I hate this whole setup. Um, obviously this is like all of my stuff and yeah, but I wanna put this TV on the wall and I wanna get a white, um, end table to put here it kind of sits a little higher y'all i got things to do okay it's things to do <laughs> but i was checking the ikea app and it looks like one of the two no it looks like two of the two dressers that i want to kind of go with that there's one this is the i hope i'm pronouncing it right the Heminist dresser this is the large one there's an end table and then there's another white one that looks similar to this that I think I want to go for. Also, do you guys think I should switch the knobs out on this and make them gold? Am I doing too much? Tell me if I'm being extra. I don't need you to tell me though, because I know I am. But <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get this together. Um, I have more frames that I think I want to put up somewhere around the house. I have like smaller ones, maybe put it on the stairs. Let me show y'all these stairs. So, this is the stairway. Um, there were once photos here. So I think I kind of want to put something back there. Maybe our wedding photos or something like that. Um, but y'all help me out. Let me know what I should do. And I think it's about time to get rid of these paper blinds. But y'all are going to help me. We're going to get it together. Together. <laughs> so yeah, let me get back to work. Um, just taking this five minutes out to connect with you at the start of this day. And we'll connect later for the Ashley Stewart try on haul. Bye. Y'all, he is so spoiled. You spoiled, Papa? <laughs> you spoiled? Mm. Look at him. <laughs> hey, y'all. So, I'm moving into overtime hours. Not even by choice, but work has been... A lot this week there's been a lot of work to do and I don't like to leave my day at my job without finishing my tasks so that turns unfortunately today that turns into overtime 
um it happens it's part of the process um but as soon as i log out i will be going straight into the ashley stewart costume try on haul not even try on haul i'm gonna show y'all everything and i'm gonna take it out the bag i'm not gonna put it on because there's gonna be a video for that um but yeah i'm excited to see how those look to see the accessories and to kind of get an idea of how i can put my spin on them so yes i will be back soon all right you guys so i want to open the final piece that came in from Dia and Co. It's a pair of skinny jeans that I got to put with that bodysuit that you guys saw me unbox yesterday. I stayed later after work way longer than I thought, but so these are jeans from Dia and Co. If you don't know, Dia and Co is a conglomerate of like a bunch of plus size brands just off the site. Join the revolution, wear your body with pride and slink it. That's cute. So I'm not gonna try these on because I wanna get into these costumes, but these jeans look pretty great. They've got some character to them, some distressing you can see here. Yeah, I know Burke can get ready to play with this piece of paper. They're dope. These are dope. Slink jeans branding on the back here. I love these. So I got these in, what size did I get these in? I got these in a 22. Just because I hate when my jeans are super tight. All right. So let me put these with the looks that I need to shoot. I'm probably going to shoot these like Friday, Saturday. But these are great quality. I'm excited about owning these. Well, let's get into this Ashley Stewart box because, ma'am, it's a big box. All right, so what I love about this unboxing is that everything, this is my return stuff, just in case, 40% off. It's another 40% off code flyer. So what I was saying is what I love about this type of unboxing is obviously, you know, the costumes come with the photos on the packaging. So I might open them. I might not because I don't want it to be a mess in here and like have to try to put them back in the packaging. But we're going to look. OK, so the first piece is Red Riding Hood. So this comes with the dress, the cape and a, oh, why they did it? Not a waist center. Y'all, this is dope. <laughs> I'm low-key excited about this one because um, it's sexy, but it's not raunchy, which is what I was looking for with creating content around dress-up season. This is going to kill. This is going to kill. I wonder, so i am obviously been living in this new area for a little bit, but I wonder if they actually trick-or-treat in this area. I don't know, but this is a vibe <laughs> let's look at the next fit okay so this is the plus size basketball bunny obviously this is a lona bunny look um i love lola bunny and i just thought this was so cute um and fun i need a basketball this is so cute <laughs> and it's like a sequined romper so it comes with a romper her ears and a tail this is adorable um, I need to get some socks. I actually think I might have a pair. They may not be red, but I think they're blue. So they'll work. Um, I don't have Birkin. I don't have um, white shoes, but I could honestly do sneakers. It doesn't have to be a heel. Um, it's not that serious, but this is cute. You guys, I can't wait to do the try on haul. I don't like the name. They could have picked a different name because we ain't about that life. I, I don't know why this has to be. They're calling it Jazzy Jezebel. I don't understand why she has to be a Jezebel. She could have just been a plus size flapper girl. But alas, they called it a Jezebel. And this is by a company called Starline. This is not created by um, Ashley Stewart at all just putting that out there and also this is not sponsored the video won't be sponsored i bought this with my own money so um i really liked the costume it reminded me of costumes that i wore 
when I would dance when I was younger. So this is it here. And it comes with a dress, a headpiece, and gloves. I love that this comes with the gloves. Um, I don't know about the headpiece. We'll figure it out. I have to pick up some pearls. I have to really make sure that this comes out the way I need it to. And I think I'm going to pick up some fishnets. Preferably black because the nude ones, like, why? Let's get into the next one. This is Secret Agent. It's literally a black cat suit with gloves. Um, so it says... The romper, a waist belt, gloves, and a leg holster. I don't know what's supposed to go on the leg holster. We're gonna figure it out. My husband does have a BB gun that I think could be really cool, but I don't know about getting on the internet. So maybe I can find something else. Harpoon or something. Uh, yeah, but I love this. This is dope. And this can also be like turned into so many different types of costumes. Uh, Black Widow. I'm trying to think like what else. Can't think of anything else right now. But I like how buildable this one is. So this is the Alluring Sea Siren. Birkin, leave that box alone. You want to say hello? Or you want to act up? Because if you act up, you could get snatched up. y'all see him so i loved this because it was giving body um i'm not crazy about this i kind of wish the skirt was a little bit longer uh but it works so it's the dress the belt and a clutch which i don't think is a real clutch when we do the official unboxing and try on we'll be able to tell but y'all how cute is this i need somebody to invite me somewhere I need to be going somewhere with this. I love this. This is really cute. And our last one, <laughs> a cat burglar. It's Catwoman. Call it what it is. I love this because it's Catwoman with some flair. So she's got bling on her ears, bling on her belt. Like, this is cute. Uh, and she's got a tail. I love this. I think that I'm going to be wearing this a little bit so this has the most when i say wearing a little bit like i'll probably wear it for a few halloweens to be honest don't care so um it's the they keep calling it a romper it's a jumpsuit romper is short but anyway it is the jumpsuit the headpiece there's the neck piece which is like a necklace then there's the belt there's bracelets, the tail, and gloves. I love this, and I think it's going to be really fun. And I can't wait to get into it so you guys can really see how it fits to see if you want to end up getting your costumes this year from Ashley Stewart. So they do carry sizes 1 to 3X for their Halloween stuff, um, for their costumes. So that's a little preview of that. And y'all, I'm done for tonight. I'm in here sweating. Birkin is acting up. He even sleep all day. He sleeps all day, and then he wakes up and terrorizes mommy all night. All right, y'all. I will see you mañana. Ooh, la, la, la.
she was on Oh, you been to the girl in hand I know you, I know you Make you no say anything when you do, they must comment it I can't come and see myself Say anything when they do, I they try to teach you I'm not free I can't come and see myself Plenty, 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 so I will be free Just to make your money, yeah Good morning, guys. So, today is Friday, September 17th, and... I didn't vlog yesterday because I really didn't have much going on yesterday and I didn't want to bore you. I did end up running to Target later on in the day to pick up some things for the Stink Man. <laughs> and also, um, just to get out of the house, working from home can become a little daunting. So sometimes I just need to get up and go for a drive. If you understand that, then you know. So today I am, I think today that I'm going to film myself going to Ikea. We're finally going to get rid of this situation. So I'm getting a new um, sort of like dresser to put here because I do need room for additional storage. Um, so that is something I'm very excited about. It's also going to lift the TV a little bit more so I can lay in bed and not be like trying to watch the TV, <laughs> trying to watch the TV girl. Um, that'd be me. So, well, that's bright. So, um, yeah, I also am hoping that by the end of today, I can start filming in this area. If you guys have been watching any of my other sit down style videos, I never get to film in this direction because I hate how that looks. It's a huge black spot as opposed to this area that's aesthetic and pretty. And this that just kind of looks like, oh, she put some thought into her decor and then that. So I think now, mind you, this is really cool. But I did um, get it with my husband in mind because I thought it was more masculine. Um, we did think it was going to fit in the other bedroom. It does not. So I might be putting this on Facebook Watch. Facebook Watch. Facebook Marketplace for sale. I don't know. It's going to go in the back of a closet for now. And maybe we'll use it to store like towels and sheets and things like that for the time being. But... I'm happy to get that other dresser. It does have five drawers. So I think what I'm gonna put in that dresser will be my my underwear, like my, my bras and things like that. I'll keep in here. Uh, and like I said, it's gonna be lifted a little higher. I still think I wanna put this TV on the wall, but either way, it won't be too high to where I can't. Um, and that's what this thing is here in this corner that's a tv mount so yeah i'm excited to take you guys with me to ikea today to pick up the dresser i won't show it to you now i'll show it to you when we get there and hopefully my best friend will be coming with me you guys will get to meet her on camera you did see her uh where did you see her in the tampa girls trip vlog um, I'm doing my best to hang with her more. We went through 2020 and a lot of 2021 without speaking and seeing each other. No beef, but life just happened and I do not want that to happen again. So I'm doing my part and putting in my effort. I lost two nails. It's fine. So yeah, it is 10 a.m. I'm taking a second to connect with you guys <laughs> to let you know what we have going on today. Oh, and tomorrow you'll get to see my girl Caress, who is going to be rolling with me to shoot some content for Reb Dolls tomorrow. I'm so excited. Uh, you've seen a few of the pieces, but I'm looking forward to shooting. You'll see it. I don't want to talk about it in case I don't do it, but you'll see it uh what else do i want to say to you guys yeah so we'll connect later today when we go to ikea see you soon
Okay, Luz, we are on our way to Ikea. My best friend isn't coming. She had to uh, deal with kind of like a family emergency. So I am solo dolo, which is fine, but I'm hoping to go and pick up what I need so that I can get this room ready for all of the filming and the work that I need to get done. So let's do it. Okay guys, so I'm back from the store, back from Ikea. Um, I ended up getting, it's called the Malm Dresser, M-A-L-M. -M. I ended up getting that for the room. I feel like it's a decent height, not too high. It's not like a full dresser. It was 109 with tax, it came out to 112. Um, but I saw this very strange looking leaf bug on the back of my car and y'all i was out there on the highway whipping it and whipping it real good and this bug literally it's I, I just put the trash out it's still on the back of my car and it looks like it looks like a leaf it's weird uh i was freaked out at first but it's just chilling and minding his business so i left it alone but i was like dang like where do these bugs come from and why are they gravitating to me? I don't know. So the dresser is a lot heavier than I thought it was gonna be. So it's actually still sitting in the back seat of my car. It came in two pieces. Um, I was overly ambitious because I thought I was gonna put it together tonight. No ma'am. <laughs> no ma'am, no ham. I'm sitting down. I'm probably gonna turn in early tonight because I'm shooting tomorrow. I want to make sure I have everything I need and then I'm rested and good to go because I want to get there by 10 30 11 so that is where I am so I'll probably put the dresser together tomorrow when I get back or Sunday who knows but I'm excited to be able to now shoot from all angles in that room that was the goal yeah all right guys i am turning in for the night uh hoping to be able to record with you guys tomorrow so that you can see everything that's going on um and behind the scenes of me shooting this lookbook for reb dolls so have a good night and i will see you tomorrow good morning Luz. it is now saturday morning I'm speaking in a whisper because my husband is still asleep. He kind of worked in overnight last night, so I am up. It's 9.50. I'm running a little further behind than I would like to be, but here we are. Nonetheless, that's the stink man. Hot mess. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about this new all-in-one mascara from from beauty counter i have non-existent lashes 
like even to like put extensions on i need a lot of help from mascara not extensions like a strip lash but i love how smooth this formula is and it's definitely like my new favorite mascara so if you don't know about beauty counter i'm definitely gonna leave their information down below lord y'all can barely see it but the struggle but yes i really am enjoying the think big mascara it's just working for me right now such a vibe so i'm gonna let that dry i'm gonna be wearing these lashes from valicia lashes these are the fluffy ones go big or go home for somebody who doesn't have lashes forget a natural lash like we're going in like give us lashes it's go big or go home so i really love these um these are my second well these are probably like my third pack from valicia but i usually get the dubai ones y'all that's a mess in there that's all like old glue this is going in the garbage <laughs> but i usually get the dubai ones this is my first time trying these so we're gonna see how they work i love how fluffy they are i just got done setting my face i'm basically all packed we're gonna be shooting at a garden today and i obviously want to make sure that i have everything together so right now i'm gonna do my contour which i use this black radiance palette doing a cream contour is just not my my zhuzh it just doesn't work out for me so i don't even play myself it probably has a lot to do with my brushes like what brushes i'm using one day i'll get it together on that but for now i use the powder contour just easier for me to move i think what happens with the cream is that it's way too it's not as controlled whereas for me i need it to be like i need that control i need that i need it to just not be slipping and sliding everywhere because if it does that it's a problem you know i'm trying to get out to the garden before it's too hot because i'm a sweater i'm a sweater and i just really can't be out there giving perspiration it's just not gonna work for me i will be bringing one of my fans um i want to also bring my kabuki for if it gets to be too much for me and I start really sweating excessively. I'm gonna be filming a lookbook. It's a little ambitious. Sometimes I can get a little, sometimes I can care about what people think when it comes to setting up and doing my thing. Um, do they think I'm weird? Do they think like, what is she doing? I gotta get out of that. <laughs> because who cares <laughs> um i love fashion i love putting looks together i love the editing process so i need to get past this bump of caring what people think and just really get into doing what i want to do i'm outside in a damn jeep right outside Baby girl, you know me Still with the dolls that I grew beside All the niggas proud me I and they die Gotta watch the time cause it's flying right by I'm outside in an AMG Right outside, PT Two turn, baby girl, you know me hey guys so i just got to the garden um it's a public place so i have to like basically deal with the fact that there's a decent amount of people here however i do see a section where i could get this first look very easily and what looks like privately and the spot is not too far from my car so i am going to just kind of go down this little pathway that is here 
set up my tripod, put my heels on and get this one shot. I'm trying to shoot a minute per look, um, which is a lot. <laughs> when you're in front of the camera, it's kind of a lot. Uh, but I'm hoping to get it done quickly, discreetly and privately so that I can change into my next look. The changing part is what's a little difficult, if we're being honest. I wish I would have brought some blankets or something, or maybe I can hang jackets in my front windows just so that I have a little bit of privacy uh, because people are nosy. Like I literally just pulled in a lot and this, like these two women were like, you don't know, like, is that Beyonce? Like what? <laughs> no, <laughs> clearly not. But, um, and that's no shade to myself, but no. <laughs> so what are you looking for? Like, it's a random garden in New Jersey. Like, stop. Garden State. People are nosy and they stare. So let's go and set up this first look. It's going to be difficult for me to vlog me taking the photos because I'm using my phone. Um, I mean, not the photos, the videos, because I'm using my phone. But let me straighten up because I think that I'm taking up more than one spot. Let me not be that person. So I'll be back. legit situation I'm in right now I'm changing in the car I've got trash bags in the windows um this is the true behind the scenes like this is really like do you really want this <laughs> that is really what this is um and I do this is my least favorite part which is like changing you know into different looks but y'all like and then like people don't really have courtesy when it comes to realizing that people are like shooting content or using a space or whatever and it's like a hundred percent ask if you can you know one guy was courteous he was like hey do you mind if we get in here and i was like already done so i was like of course enjoy you know do your thing but like some people like don't walk in front of my camera it's a whole tripod. Like, I'm not standing here posing in front of an invisible photographer. Like, <laughs> so, y'all, I don't know how I feel about this hair. I don't know. Um, I think it works for what I'm doing today, but these shades are available on my boutique, Shop Joy Louise, if you guys are interested. And then there's like the whole shapewear thing, changing into shapewear, like, I got on these shape wear, uh, shaper mint high waisted panties, and that's what it's looking like today. That's what it's giving today. I'm not changing into anything else. Y'all finna get fupa. Y'all finna get all of my lusciousness. Cause I'm not beat. <laughs> I think I'm gonna pair this bag with this look. Just cause I feel like it's more of a vibe. I'm gonna put on my other. I think I'm gonna put on my other heels, and just walk over y'all it's a lot i'll be back all right y'all it's a wrap it's hot i'm sweating um but lookbook was a success <laughs> y'all remember her crazy tale from the curvy con of vlog Hi. she's back we back what's up we out here it's and we color block a little bit, like a little muscle, little muscle kind of situation. We color block, it's cute. What are friends for, right? Let's give, them, let's give them Vogue. Ooh, I can do that. <laughs> Not my bag getting stuck like that. <laughs> my bag. Okay, I am back home and I'm exhausted. It's gotta be all of five o'clock and I'm ready to hit 
the hay. Uh, one thing that I have to say is I had the idea to shoot all of the looks from today in one location. Um, and I'm kind of glad that I changed my mind on that and was able to do it um, in different locations. And that worked out because um, there were a lot more kids around than I thought there would be. I thought with back to school, maybe the kids would be somewhere else, you know, taking karate classes or whatever like that. But there were like more kids around. I did not feel comfortable changing behind a bush somewhere. So I ended up changing in the car and you guys saw in the vlog that I put the trash bags in the window. Y'all are going to do whatever you have to do to get the job done and to feel secure and safe. At one point, I think near the fountain in the green dress, there was this random guy that sat down to watch me take photos and I was just like really turned off by it. And I was glad that my friend Caress had showed up a little bit before I was taking photos in that dress because it just made me really uncomfortable. It's like this old white guy. Um, I don't like that at all, at all. But today went really well. The videos are decent. There are certain things that I wish I had ironed out a bit more, but it is what it is. <laughs> And now I'm going to go and wrap up this week's vlog. Uh, the vlog will be ending here. We are done on this Saturday. And tomorrow I'll start up another vlog for the following week. I'm enjoying the process. I think that I've got a handle on how to do it. And I love it. And I hope you guys love it as much as I do. If you've gotten this far, you're the real MVP. Um, thank you for rocking out with me. And I'll see you in another vlog. It may come up before this goes live, but there should be an unboxing in your inboxes very soon. I love you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Ryan, literally. Japan. <laughs>